Hey guys, uh, Mr. Smith, Sandite Mentor. Some of you guys are still having some problems with um, elapsed time and um, thought I might, uh, uh, in fact I had a request to uh, post a video example um, of how to figure an elapsed time. If it, It's not too terribly bad if, if you're dealing with uh, uh, a time p.m. to a p.m. but the a.m. to p.m. let's take 10.30 a.m. for example how much time is between 10.30 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. okay so we're going from a.m. to p.m. the easiest way that I, I have found is to figure out how much how, what the difference would be uh, to get to 10.30 a.m. to 12 o'clock. And in this case, we'll say it's 12 o'clock p.m. So if I subtract 10.30 from 12, I can't take 30 minutes from zero minutes, so I have to borrow. And what am I borrowing? I'm actually borrowing a full 60 minutes. Now I can subtract 30 from 60 and I end up with 30 and then one hour. So there's one hour and 30 minutes from 1030 to get 1030 to noon. And all I have to do is add that to the six o'clock because I know that there is um, six hours between 12 o'clock p.m. and six o'clock p.m. So I just add in the hour and 30 minutes and I come up with seven hours and uh, 30 minutes. So um, just getting everything to, uh, to 12 o'clock makes things a lot easier for me. Um, so you might give that a shot and see, see if that if that helps. I kind of, I kind of think it will. Um, let me do uh, another example. Um, let me find one. If um, Let's say that I want to go from um, 8.05. If I go 8.05 a.m. to um, let's see, one of your examples is 3.25 p.m. Okay, so I'm going from a.m. to p.m. I'm going to find the difference uh, to see what it would take to get 8.05 to 12. So I'm just going to subtract. I can't take 5 minutes from 0, so I have to borrow. I actually borrow 60 whole minutes. So I can take 5 from 60, which would just be 55. And then 8 from 11, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have 3. Okay. So I have, it took 3 hours and 55 minutes to get from 8.05 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m. Now I just need to add in the difference between getting 12 o'clock p.m. to 3.25 p.m. So, well, it's 3 hours and 25 minutes. So I just have to add the 355. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to add these up. 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Red flag, 80 minutes. You can't have that. So what you do, subtract 60 minutes from that. Whenever you subtract, remember to add one over here to the hours. So you end up with 20 minutes and then you end up with 7 hours. So the difference between 8.05 a.m. to 3.25 p.m. would be your 7 hours in 20 minutes. And so far I think I've, I've found that to be the, the, the easiest uh, method. Um, let's look at one that's kind of uh, a little more difficult is it was actually uh, 
number 17 of your, I'm not sure if this is homework or what, but it goes from 12.40 a.m. to um, 10.25 a.m. And that's as it's written in the book. And if you, if you go by my rules, you're trying to get everything to, um, to 12 o'clock. Well, here, you're beyond 12 o'clock. You're 40 minutes past 12 o'clock. Um, so in your a.m. to a.m. So I think if you'll just take the 1025 and subtract 40 minutes from that, since, since you're already past 12 o'clock, you're not getting to it. You're already past it, so you're going to subtract it from the 1025. Let's see what happens. We can't take 40 from 25, so we have to borrow. It makes it 9 hours. I'm actually borrowing 60 minutes, which is going to change. 60 plus 25 is actually going to be 85. So I'm just going to turn that into an 8, and then I'll subtract so I end up with 5, end up with 4, and then the 9 just drops straight down. So between 12.40 a.m. to 10.25 a.m., I end up with 9 hours and 45 minutes. I hope that helps some of you. Um, uh, appreciate the request. Um, if you have any other problems, let me know on my Facebook page. Um, otherwise, I'll see you at school. Um, have a good day.